Imagine that you're currently the best version of yourself. Do you truly believe that in this instant you are the best you can ever be? There are three fundamental characteristics that every driver has that you need to know and master if you want to stop being slow and become the fastest driver you can be. This is how Seeds Games can teach you how to master these characteristics that make drivers get beaten or be unbeatable. My name is AJBL1 and this guide was born to show how you can become faster through what I've learned and how I believe that it could help more people who've become hopeless, tired, exhausted or stuck believing that they cannot be better. If you like the sound of that, then please subscribe. So let's learn what these fundamental characteristics are so that we can become the best drivers we can be. So, what is ability? Drive Club has always been a game I've found to be sort of easy. You don't need to be playing for too long to understand how to go fast. Hell, you don't need to know that much about the game. You also really don't need to be too confident either. You can pick up a controller and usually just be able to drive. The only way that you really get fast at Drive Club is related to how good you are at driving already. You need ability and this is why we're gonna start off from here. The first characteristic of fast driving is ability and it's arguably the most important one as it's your starting point for any game. Ability is how good you are at driving your car. It's everything and anything that refers to steering throttle control, brake control, driving style, how you choose to race, the way you hold grip to turns or keep the car from spinning out is your ability. Managing your wheel spin and controlling hard cars, how you drive either by drifting, gripping or a mix of both and how fast it makes you is your ability. Adapting to different cars and being consistent on your command is also a type of ability. Everything that is how you drive and manage the car is your ability. This is the one that you need to focus on, especially if you are new to racing games or not that good. Think of it as the basic starting point. It starts with how you press the inputs to drive the car. In Drive Club, the way to be fast isn't primarily based on how confident or knowledgeable you are. Your speed derives from how good you are at driving. If you can't control the cars or if you don't know how to drive fast, you won't be any good. You need to have something that I'd like to call sense of control. What I mean by this, it's that feeling you get while driving a car and when you understand how much the car reacts to the road itself. Something that I feel isn't talked about that much is that aspect. There are obviously hard cars and easy cars in every game. But that sense of control, how much you feel like you understand the way that the car drives, is what really composes your ability. That little feeling is the makeup of everything that has to do with ability. How much you understand the feedback given by the car when driving on roads and how you react to drive faster is your ability. So, what is knowledge? Need for the speed, heat is very easy. Due to it being an arcade game, every car is really easy to drive. It feels kind of dull, everything feels sort of the same. You don't need to have that much ability or confidence to drive well to trust the car. There's not that 
feeling of imminent death anytime you step into the car. Nearly everything about the game feels somewhat thought down in favor of a more relaxed experience. How you become faster is by your knowledge of the game itself. And that is why I want to epitomize Need for Speed Heat as the way to explain this characteristic. Knowledge is the second characteristic, and it amplifies your ability and your confidence. Knowledge refers to how much you know about the game mechanics, car limits and track limits. When I talk about limits, that will be the fastest speed you can go before the racing line is unusable and you're at risk of crashing. It's how much you know about these limits of a car, how to turn it, how to modify it, how to go faster, how far it can be pushed before it's not possible to get any faster. Making the best two modifications, knowing the best cars is knowledge. Knowing how to abuse the mechanics that let you brake earlier, turn better, accelerate faster also plays into game mechanics knowledge. Knowing which assists give you the biggest advantage is knowledge that is highly important. Knowing the fastest way around a certain track, the best racing line or the best way to cut time is track knowledge. There are multiple racing lines that can be used and picking the best one is gonna be knowledge. Knowing the ins and outs of a track, knowing the best assist and knowing the limits of your car is knowledge. NFS Heat is much more about how much you know about the shortcuts, the fastest way around the tracks, how you get the highest possible amount of RP or money, and everything that relates to game mechanics. Picking the best cars is extremely important, and the only real way to be faster than other people is to know every little detail about the game. Whenever you play games that don't test your driving skill, like Heat, the way to be fast is learning every crucial detail that gives you more speed than other players. Cars like the 911 RSR are obviously stupidly fast. And most racers on the game are fast because of their car choice and their knowledge of the map. Because it's extremely easy to drive in the game. Knowledge is what can separate you from the bad and turn you into the good in a lot of games. So, what is confidence? Greed is a special case compared to most other games. It's quite easy to drive in, like in Drive Club and Need for Speed Heat. You also don't need to know that much about the game. You need to know a bit about the tracks and you need some driving skill of course, but having these two isn't enough for what makes the difference in grid. What will make you better however, is how much confidence you have and how much you trust yourself. Confidence is the third and final characteristic of fast driving, and in my opinion it's the one that separates fast drivers from the best drivers. We have said that ability is how you drive the car and knowledge is how much you know about game mechanics and the limits of the car and track. Confidence is what comes from uniting the previous characteristics and it is how much you can trust your car to push it close to the limit. Every car and track has a limit and confidence is what will push you to get closer to that limit. In racing, your confidence will be the product of your mentality. The higher you trust in a car and track correctly, the more confidence that you have and the faster you will become. This is the characteristic that separates drivers into different categories. Since I didn't make the game, I can't be 100% sure about this but I've always felt like Gred tests your confidence more than anything else. 
the game punishes you for not having enough ability, sure, or not enough knowledge. But even if you have them, you can still be very slow in the game. Most of the tracks in game feel like they're made to reward the drivers who give it their all and drive aggressively, not passively. Every time I've driven in the game, I've found myself always going slower if I was too careful trying to understand and stay close to what I consider to be the limit. But whenever I try to exceed that limit and push myself over that edge by being aggressive on every single opportunity that presented itself to me, I found myself being able to go faster than before. Confidence will often be the most important part to make you be faster. Your mentality will derive your confidence. And learning how to be aggressive and trusting that you can drive fast and trusting that you have what it takes to be good is what will allow you to break any mental blocks you have. In Gred, it feels like being neutral is something that isn't allowed. If you want to go faster, you need to trust that you can go faster than your current limit. And that confidence is what will separate you from being bad to becoming good. We can shorten everything I've said into three fundamentals that you need to remember. First, ability is how you drive the car and how well you can control it. Second, knowledge is how much you know the limits of your car and track. Third, confidence is how you combine ability and your knowledge to trust how fast you can push the car without crashing. So, how does this apply to drivers themselves? In my opinion, you can class drivers into five different categories. Bad drivers are the ones who don't know how to apply or don't have any ability, knowledge or confidence. Bad drivers either don't know how fast they can go, so they slow down at every turn and lose precious time, or they are overconfident and crash in every single turn trying to find the limit. Decent drivers are the ones who have either some knowledge or confidence but no ability to apply it well enough. Decent drivers can take some fast turns but they can't have a good lap. They make a lot of mistakes but not as many as bad drivers. Good drivers have enough ability to drive fast enough but they don't have either the sufficient knowledge or they can't trust in their confidence. They take sections fast, but they still make dumb mistakes from time to time, and they're always missing out on getting close to the limit. Fast drivers have either great ability and great confidence or knowledge. These guys can compete and be fast, they know how to drive, but they miss out on that final 10% of the limit. They try, but they just aren't the best. The best drivers have exceptional ability extensive knowledge and proper confidence. They know how to squeeze that final 10% that makes them reach the limit. They know what to do, how to drive and how to always get close to that limit. This might be a good way to think about the components that make up fast driving but it also might not help you at all. You need to improve these characteristics to be faster. So in what way do you do that? Then how can I improve my ability? Gran Turismo 7 is the perfect game to improve your ability, in my opinion. GT7 needs a bit of all three characteristics for you to be a good driver, but the one that you need to have locked down is being good. 
Remember that sense of control I mentioned. That's what will come into play in this game. Gran Turismo 7 is a game that is focused on being realistic, so it's not an arcade game. Driving in this game can be quite hard as it usually has a lot of death traps and it can be quite easy to spin the wheels and lose grip. GT7 requires more than anything driving ability and racing ability. Focus practice after focus practice makes perfect. The way to improve your ability is to start off slow and learn variety. The best way is to start off with slow cars with noticeable handling traits and keep driving them. If you want to control wheel spin, grab a slower car that is good at everything but the one thing you want to improve your management of. Keep driving the car and try to control that one aspect. Learn how to control it and then change cars from slower to faster until you know how to control that issue. The way to improve your ability is tackling one aspect that you want to improve and find something that can help you solve that issue. Try different cars and even different tracks, hell, even different games. You have to start getting used to driving fast. Muscle memory and sense of control is what we're training. The more that you improve either of these, the more that your ability will increase. The way you use your brakes, throttle and steering is the most important part. Get used to watching the road and analyzing it to find the best racing line. When racing, you need to keep looking at the road and the turns that are coming up ahead. Focus on improving, one at a time, an aspect of your driving and then combine everything you know to make a driving style that works for you. Find the way you feel comfortable driving, whether it's grip or with sleep, and perfect it. Besides focus training by yourself, you need to race against other players. Trial by fire is oftentimes a great way to see how your skill changed and how you compare against your rivals. By watching them and comparing yourself against them, you can learn more. Variety and focus are key. Racing ability is another thing that you will need to learn, and that is how to race other players. GT7 has a super competitive racing scene, and that is why it's the best place to learn how to race. The best way to race is usually by being smart. Combine your ability to drive the car with the way you can pass people. You should drive as cleanly as possible and pick your passes smartly. You shouldn't always battle one single person to gain a place in any way you can. You should work with other players to go as high as possible on the standings. If you're in 5th, 14th, whatever place and you have faster players behind you, let one or two through and then try to follow them through the race. If you're splitting the race into two groups by being too slow and holding back one of them. You can follow these racers that are faster than you to a higher position if you know how to tail them. If you wanna attack players, try to keep close to them and look for any opportunities on turns that are usually wide, that have multiple racing lines and that ideally they have a braking zone, in which two players can drive through without crashing each other out. You shouldn't always attack if it feels wrong or that if you feel that it will make you go slower. Don't try to get stuck in packs of players that are punched up, because this will usually result in crashes. Instead, keep close to them, wait for the pack to dissolve, and claim any positions that are free for the taking. If you wanna defend while in a high position, those same places that you pass through Put your car in that zone so that people can use it to pass you and force other racers to take slower racing lines by using the one that will block them from having the fastest one. If you're racing dirty drivers, try to outsmart them. If they're gonna dive bomb you, let them run wide so that you don't get taken out. And my final tip is, it's always better to lose time than to crash out. Don't overdrive the car if you feel like you might crash. 
if you're trying to push way too hard to catch up to first place or somebody that is ahead of you. It can often result in a mentality that is all or nothing, and most times it's gonna be nothing. You should be aggressive, sure, but you also need to be smart. The priority that you should have while racing is to be smart and take as many passes as possible that are doable and won't take you out. Then, how can you improve your knowledge? The crew motorfest is quite fun. You need some ability and some confidence to be fast, but yet again, how much you know is what will determine how good you will be at racing. You can drive quite easily in this game, but your car choice and your track knowledge is what determines if you're fast. Every track has shortcuts, and the game has many classes in which the metas can outpace many of the other cars. Learning what the shortcuts are, the game mechanics, except resets, those suck and if you use them I don't want to talk to you and the car choices you need to make is what will make you be faster. To improve your knowledge, you need to research the game, do focus practice and experiment. In the same way that you practice to improve aspects of your ability, you'll have to learn how to get close to the limits of your car and track. To find the limit, grab the car you wanna drive, the track you wanna learn and go flat out. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes at the start. The idea will be to keep trying over and over until you find a speed that lets you take the corner as fast as possible without having a crash. The way to find the limit is to go as fast as possible and work your way backwards until you find a speed in which you don't crash and you're still fast. Keep retrying over and over and over again until you find it. The way to have more knowledge for racing lines, game mechanics and tuning is through investigating videos, opinions, wikis, to look up what the best cars are, how to tune, the mechanics and the ones that are the best. After you find information, try it for yourself, to trial and error, see if it works. You can usually find better crafted videos that focus on one specific subject for your specific game. Whether it is Forza, Gran Turismo, Need for Speed, Roblox, Assetto, anything like that. Look up what the best racing lines are, what the best assists are, the best way to tune the cars, and then try that and see if it works. Every piece of new, useful information that you learn will increase your knowledge. The Crew Motorfest and the Crew 2 have always been decided by who knows the most about the tracks and the cars and the mechanics to be fast. Passing is often incredibly, incredibly easy in the game, but only if you have the correct car and the knowledge to know where you can cut time. Learn the shortcuts that allow you to go from the back of the pack to first place and what the best cars are. Learn what tools make the cars the best they can be and experiment and find what suits you. Then, how can I improve my confidence? Midnight Racing Tokyo has been my favorite game for quite a while. I've sunk the most hours into this game and honestly, it's the place that made me become fast. While it may be an alpha game that, hell, isn't made by a AAA studio or what would resemble a proper indie game like Art of Rally, I still consider it to be a very good place for learning how to be fast. You need some ability and some knowledge to be fast in this game, 
but you can never get any world records if you don't have the mentality or the confidence to trust yourself enough to break them. Like other characteristics, find the car you want to drive, go to the map you want to get better at, and practice. Keep doing multiple laps over and over and find the limit that I've mentioned. This time around, you don't only want to find the limit, you want to get comfortable at driving at that limit. Keep pushing and you'll keep finding new things. Little things that appear in different runs that will throw you off guard and learn how to tackle them. Explore your limits, drive until you find the limit, and if you crash, redo it until you don't crash while still being fast. Muscle memory will be key, and your mentality will determine how much confidence you have. You may feel shaky after a bit of pressure when you take a good line, or always stay scanning for errors you've made in the run you're doing. What you need to do is to let go of those feelings and focus. There are times when you try to focus too much or too little and you forget what made you be fast. What you need to really do is find a way to change that mentality. The best way I've found to get that confidence is to race against people that are faster than you. Go into online servers, find people and race them. Get a feel for how it feels to race against multiple people. If you crash, retry. Find new or the same people and race again and get better at it. Focus on targets, lap times or drivers that you want to beat. Don't stop until you break your goal and until you get comfortable at surpassing it with ease. Being and racing with faster drivers can help you learn those lines or understand those moments that unsettle you while driving, while still giving you a challenge. If we're talking about tactics, it's always better to be on the attack. If you drive passively, more often than not, you won't take those risky maneuvers that make you win. Remember that it's about winning, but not at any cost. Don't ram other people and throw them off the road. Be clean, be fast. MRT has been the game I've learned the most from, and while I'm sure many of you who aren't in that kind of space have heard it, it would be good to give it a try for yourself and see what you think. This game maybe become fast to the point I could be good in other AAA games like Gran Turismo. I had always been bad in my mentality aspect because I drive way too passively after I take a super good line. The game helped me to improve my mentality by learning how to drive the many tricky tracks that there are and learn how to cope with losing a run. The amount of uphills, bumps and just random chance that there is to lose a run made me learn how to let go of that mentality and be okay with knowing that there's no way to be perfect all the time. There's only how much you can trust in yourself to do the correct thing with the knowledge that you have and the ability to back it up. If you've never heard of the game, I'd say that you should give it a try, as it is a free Roblox game that can be played with any device, even a phone or on PS4, PC or Xbox. It may not be to your liking, but it could still help you become faster if you give it a chance. Alright then, so how can I become the best driver possible? Try to use all the advice that I've said in this video. Focus on the variety first to learn a bit more about how to drive and improve your muscle memory. Afterwards, learn as much as you can, test that information and practice with it. Find the limit. Learn the car, learn the track, know your limits, the car's limits and the track's limits. Then get comfortable at driving at that level. Aim for records, lap times to achieve, rivals to beat, 
knowledge to apply, and confidence to make it happen. With repetition, you'll start to get better at it, and some of the knowledge and confidence that you'll get can be used towards a different game or goal. Afterwards, when you are finally ready to race, be aggressive and pick your moments. Usually, attacking is the best defense in most cases. If you are racing against 30 drivers, try to outpace them or outsmart them. If you know that they are going to ram you, dive bomb you, give them the space to ram themselves off the road so that they don't take you out and you claim the position. Being aggressive to gain positions is good, but you need to be clean. Don't be a manus. Remember that it's always better to keep driving rather than being in a wall. Sometimes you won't get close to the limit you desire, and you might often surpass the limit and risk crashing or have a surprise person with bad VR. Do your utmost to keep the car intact, even if it loses your speed. It's better to stay in the race even if you lost time than to crash out and potentially end it. Always, always practice with rivals and improve your knowledge, ability and confidence. If you want to be a faster driver, you need to have that fire, that little small feeling in the back of your head that makes you say, I want to be faster. In the end, learn as much as possible practice as much as possible, and race as much as possible. With repetition, you'll be closer to perfection each time that you give it your all. So probably most of my viewers will be from the Midnight Racing Tokyo community, at least at the very beginning. If so, I'll leave you guys with a few tips that might help you. They, they aren't very good, but yeah. First of all, learn how to drive and the kill zones of the map. It's extremely easy to crash in multiple places on the MRT maps, so learn how to avoid those parts that can kill you or learn how to abuse those zones to be faster. Second, learn your car choices. You need tunes that are reliable and cars with high grip. AWDs and some small list of front wheel drives are the best cars to drive if you want grip. Otherwise, just grab a Pantera, it's, it has way too much grip, like, way too much. The 911 991 is also another car that fits in the category, it's rear wheel drive but it drives like an all wheel drive, it's the meta car of all time. Third, learn the best settings. Manual, TCS off and ABS on are probably the best settings to go fast in the majority or 90% of all cars. Fourth, learn how to drive and practice over and over and over and over again. Also, get a controller or learn mouse, either or will work. The current chassis in the game really requires you to be able to throttle control or to have a good steering range. You also need higher FPS to have more grip for the cars, as a chassis gives more speed and better grip by high more FPS. These are some basic tips but they will be what makes you drive faster in MRT. If you guys really want a dedicated guide to just MRT, let me know in the comment section for it. Thanks to Para Para Dancing One, he really pushed me to make the video. Louis Gaming, Headsonets, Mr. Search, R C Guard Gaming, Moburn, Donkey Kong Patrick, BX Miggy, and everybody else who helped with this, thank you. But for now, this video has reached its end, but there is an important part of knowledge which has always been the cars that you're using. In Midnight Racing Tokyo, this isn't an exception. So watch this video if you want to know the 20 cars that I consider a must for every single driver to buy in Midnight Racing Tokyo. Anyway, I hope you guys like the video and that it can actually help you. Goodbye.